so uh, Daniel Hamilton uh, with Rural Financial Group Transamerica and I do the marketing for our business. When I joined the chamber, the thing that I really looked for was who were the women in the chamber who I looked up to. They stood out, they stood out to me as women who were influencers in their community, who, who were really involved in their families. And th so I reached out to those women, women like Gail Calderazzo and Mary Lou Suck Suckling and, and Mary Chance and, and, and just asked those women to sit down and have coffee with me and, and tell me about their life and their experiences. And the biggest thing I really learned from listening to their stories is the process of um, having experiences and struggling and then just the inspiration of how they grew through all of those struggles and that even in every day, things are still not perfect for them. They're still struggling and they're still growing, growing through it. That face that they're presenting is just so positive and the way they use all of those experiences to build up their community and other women and their families was just very inspiring to me and that is became ingrained in myself and my own expectations for my life and who I wanted to be. I'm Tina Hernandez with JPI Insurance Solutions and um, I'm the team lead here and a producer for this agency. So for me, I think a lot of it is um, being able to empower other people. Um, I love um, seeing other women succeed and being a part of their celebrations day by day. Um, I try to be as positive as I can and like try to put that out there just so, you know, and just letting um, other women know that um, we're in this together and however we can help one another like to step up and just be there to listen or help or do whatever we can. I'm Leanne Kels and I work for Columbia Bank, have for 20 years, and they like to give us really long titles here. So I am the Client Solutions and Engagement Manager for the Willamette Valley region with the bank. Not only just a woman in business, but for every woman, I just think it's really important to lift each other up and be positive and encourage others to do anything they want. and. You know, I just think it's really important that we have good um, role models and people to look up to. You know, I think the thing I try instilling in my daughters the most, and uh, my daughters are in their 20s now and stuff, but um, is really to love yourself. I don't ever want them feeling like they have to get something from something or someone else to feel whole and feel loved. I truly just want them to, you know, be happy with themselves and that the, they choose their path. What would be a message from you to other women in our community that you want them to, to know or, and to hear? Just be there for each other. You know, really be real with, with who you are and be willing to be vulnerable and, and be positive and lift each other up because there's so much value we grow stronger and bigger together when we're there for each other. You know, I just think that women need to be able to feel like they have a voice and not be afraid to use it. Um, they should always make sure they're in an environment that they're able to use their voice. And if they're not, um, how can that be changed? Um, and that you really are in control of your own destiny. I think the biggest one for me is um, empowering your daughters to let them know that they can, they're capable of anything. Um, that they don't need to depend on anyone um, to educate themselves, get as much knowledge as they can. Just to be independent and know you can do anything that you set your mind to and don't let anything hold you back.